Hey everybody, it's your Auntie Paulette. <laughs> I'm back today, and today's topic is about Generation Z. <clears throat> Generation Z is anyone born from 1995 to 2010. And I'm gonna tell you, I have a daughter in that generation and nieces too. And I'm gonna tell you, honey, they are something, something else. Okay, why do you young ladies feel you have to have a man? Just because your girlfriend posted pictures and her man that took her to dinner and all of this, okay, you don't even know. She pro he, he probably ain't paid for that dinner. She probably did. Because in your generation, most of you are too thirsty for men. You will cater to them. You will feed them. I have seen them make plates for them and put the fork to their mouth. Baby, uh-uh, don't do it. Okay, I'm going to tell you from back when I was in the day um, and growing up and had a little boyfriends and this and that, it wasn't about that. It was not about me catering to no boy, making him like he my husband before he my husband. Oh, I was decent, and I showed how to treat somebody like I wanted to be treated. But I did not cater to no guy, okay? And I did not spend my money on no man. Not if he asked to take me out that I'm paying the bill, or I'm driving him because... He don't have a car, then he need to ask me out when he bought that car. Am I right? So anyway, statistics say that Generation Z, they are radical, ethical, diverse, progressive, and pro-government. According to Generational Z data from the Pew Research Center, there are also sandwiches between millennials. Born between 1980 and 1995. And Generation Alpha, which is adding members through 2025. Okay, I don't even want to meet 2025 generation. I mean, I want to meet them, but I'm glad I don't got to raise them. I should say that. So, everything you see on Facebook, Instagram, Everything people post ain't glory, because I'll be honest. And like, I see Paulette is a realist, a real realist. I post stuff not writing. I don't write and post messages that are untrue. Well, then again, let me take that back since I'm being honest. There's times when I was married, I wanted my marriage to be the best marriage, quote unquote. And I wrote some things on Facebook. Oh, I'm loving it. And was miserable as I don't know what. So why was I even posting it? Why did I want to impress people about what my life was about? Who cares? <laughs> anyway, don't do that generational Z. Be your own woman. Look for men with don't you know what i take that back don't even look for men let a man find you <coughs> excuse me let a man find you and when he finds you you let him know what your expectations are you tell him your goals where you want to go in life think about your future and if you had a baby before you got married think about your children and think about where you want this relationship to go if it goes anywhere. And expect the most out of a man. A man is supposed to be the provider. Yes, you can work and you should work. But a man is supposed to be the provider. That was how I was brought up. The man was the provider. Okay, I didn't make good choices in my life either. That's why I'm coming here to talk to y'all today. Don't make the same. <clears throat> but, Generation Z, you girls, 
say, I don't want to be here in Buffalo because all these men is this, they're bums, they this and that, I'm moving somewhere else. Baby, you taking you with you. So what you pick is what you do. What you settle for less, that's what you get less. Just like going to the Dollar Tree. Sometimes I'm very cheap and I want to go buy um, a can opener from the Dollar Tree. And I might get home and can only open five cans and the thing is broke. And then you got to go buy another one. So why keep spending dollars? Why not get top quality from the beginning? Okay? Stop settling for less. Stop catering to men. If you're doing good and you have a job generation Z, get out here, keep working your job. If you got a child and you're a senior mother, keep doing the best you can to raise that child. Don't focus on a man. Do not focus on a man because a man will bring you down. Don't stay in a situation like you do today when a man is always arguing with you. You can't even wake up without being stressed out. You're too young to be so stressed out and crying and going through so much in your life. You're not married to these men. Let them go. When I said in my video before, if you walk out on me, if a person walks out on me, let them go. Did you hear me? Let them go, baby. Because you're more valuable. Women, start thinking more of yourself. And Generation Z, stop showing all your stuff first before he even gets to know what you're about. You know, you take you you send out things to men when you send out all showing all your breasts, you're not covering up nothing, your butt all out, your shorts all up, and you're wearing see-through stuff where you can see right through your clothes, you're not giving them nothing to dream about or think, wow, she's beautiful, I wonder what she about, they, don't, you, they can't wonder because y'all put everything right out here. Okay, some of y'all going to get mad at me, but I see Paulette coming on here to be real. That's why I'm not doing no fake videos. That's why you don't see that I'm in this fake.